I love what God is doing in our amazing town of Reliance. We've been learning all about God's love. And I have a question for you because Nellie has a whole bunch of ice cream flavors in her shop. What ice cream flavor is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Go ahead and tell me. Everybody, tell me your favorite ice cream flavor. There's a lot of flavors, right? I think we've been learning a lot about how God's love fills us up just like ice cream. And we are not supposed to be empty, like empty cones, but that when God's love fills us up, we have the sweet grace of God all on the inside of us. But sometimes people, they eat up their ice cream and it goes away. That's not my favorite part. And I think sometimes people think that this is the way God's love is too. They say, oh, I have lots of ice cream. And so they have a big, they have a big scoop. And then they have another mm, big scoop as well. But then they get worried because they're starting to run out. And mm, mm, so good. <laughs> they love ice cream, right? But the worst part is when Oh, it gets all empty, like you run out of ice cream. Did you know that God has so much love for you and His grace is a lot like ice cream, but His grace and His love will never ever run out. We have a Father in heaven who always has love for us. And while there are people out there in the world who maybe they run out of love and they're not perfect, the reason they run out is because they need to be more connected to the overflowing love of God. When we run out and we feel empty, it's because we need to be filled up again with God's love. Romans chapter eight teaches us all about that. We've been learning that Christ lives on the inside of us and that we have been adopted into the family of God. And we can call God our daddy. And a daddy is a very special relationship. Romans 8 says that God's love for you will never go away. Nothing can separate it. While for us with ice cream, I mean, the further away you get from it, uh, uh, the harder it could be. But God's love will always fill us up on the inside and will never, ever stop. Sometimes we feel empty. Sometimes we feel like we don't have the things that we need. But the only way for us to be unstoppable is to remember that God's love is unstoppable. God is always working out great things on our behalf. Romans 8 says that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. Romans 8 says that nothing can stop the love of God and because of all of His love, now we are more than conquerors. That means because God is unstoppable and God always has love for us, now we are unstoppable. Isn't that amazing that because Jesus is strong, we can be strong. Because Jesus is sweet, we can be sweet. Because Jesus is loving with lots and lots of love, we can be loving. There may be times when you feel like you're ready to give up, but the love of God is what you have that can fill you up. Let's go ahead and say that big idea together. In grace, I am unstoppable. Let's say that, repeat after me. In grace, I am unstoppable. That's right. When grace is on the inside of you, you are unstoppable. Say it with me. In grace, I am unstoppable. Go ahead and hold your hands out like you are receiving a big, big bowl of God's amazing sweet love right in your hands. Go ahead and hold those hands out. Close your eyes and let's pray to the Lord. Father, we are so grateful for your love. Even when other people fail us, we know that you will never fail us. 
even if we feel empty, we look to you to fill us up. Thank you, Lord, that your love is unstoppable. And because of that, we declare in grace, we are unstoppable. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, hey, Liberados. My name's Mr. Matt, and I love you like crazy. The big idea today is in grace, I am unstoppable. Let's say that together. Ready? In grace, I am unstoppable. Very good. I need you to say it a little bit louder so everyone around you can really hear you. Are you ready? Here we go. In grace, I am unstoppable. <laughs> That's a little bit better. I love that. Now, what I really want to do is I want to put some actions to this so we can really remember that in His grace, we are unstoppable. Now, have you ever ran a race before and felt like you got really tired and just couldn't keep going? Well, God, with His love and His grace, it never stops. Can you imagine if in a race you could keep running forever and never stop? That's what his love and his grace is like. It never stops. So we're gonna pretend like we're runners that can just keep going and going and going and never stop. Are you ready? Here we go. In grace, I am unstoppable. Pretend like you're running really fast and you're never gonna stop. Run, 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 run. All right, that's pretty good. But I think some of you can run a little bit faster. Here we go. Let's try one more time. Run as fast as you can. Ready? In grace, I am unstoppable. Run, 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 as fast as you can, like you'll never stop. <laughs> Very good. Us running as long as we can, like we're never gonna stop, it's just like God's love and His grace that gives us the power we need. It never stops, and it's always continuously pouring out just for us. Remember today that God's grace and his love never stops. And because of it, in grace, we are unstoppable.